and tied her mother let her kid steal my blind cane so a bit of backstory i'm a 28 year old woman who just recently went fully blind when i was a teenager i volunteered with my local youth group to help rebuild mississippi after hurricane katrina and while down there i picked up a fungal parasite called histoplasmosis what's that uh did i ever hear that thing or no i don't think so it's histoplasmosis i don't know okay that over a decade migrated to my eyes and slowly caused blindness i've been totally blind for about a year now so i'm pretty new to it but i digress i first went blind i barely left the house and was afraid to go in public i felt like everyone was staring at me and in all honesty i barely knew what i was doing the transition had been difficult and i didn't have any support group to teach me one day my husband asks if i can take an uber down to the bank and deposit a rent check and i reluctantly agree while out he messages again and reminds me that we are out of a few crucial groceries. There was a Walmart grocery literally across the street from the bank, so I figure everything in life is an experience and I'll have to learn how to shop alone eventually, so why not? Everything was fine at first and I was only grabbing a few things so I didn't need a car. I was using my cane and what little equalication skills I had at the time to get around but was still bumping into things as we blind tend to do sometimes. My cane suddenly hit something a bit softer and I figured maybe I had whacked someone's legs and apologized. Q entitled Kate EK and entitled mother EM me shoot I'm sorry EM hey you just hit my son me I'm so sorry ma'am I didn't see him there Ian begins yelling, how could you not see him? He is clearly right here. Now I am fully blind, but I don't wear sunglasses, mostly because I can't afford a good UV blocking pair, but also I am not ever looking for pity or to play the part of a generic blind person. I just want to be treated like a normal person. But I do understand her confusion as blindness is a spectrum, so I try to calmly explain me ma'am i'm blind i can't see anything let alone your son that's why i have to use the cane so i can get around without she cuts me off if you're blind why aren't you wearing big sunglasses now as a blind person i get a lot of stupid questions but i understand a lot of them are just people who don't know better so i try to happily answer as many as i can me those are really expensive on 200 for a good pair and I really don't need any insight. EM, we are not blind, you're faking it. It's where my blood starts to boil. I can't think of any reason someone would want me to pretend to be blind. It's an actual hell and nothing pisses me off more than when someone calls me a liar when I'm not. Just as I'm about to respond, I feel a tug and before a blink, I realize this little demon spawn has snatched my hundred dollar cane from my hands. For those of you who don't understand, that's like if you're shopping and suddenly the power goes out and you can't see a single light. Without my cane, I can barely move at all without crashing into anything. My voice gets shaky as I begin to panic. Please give that back. I really do need it. EM, no, you don't, you liar. My son deserves to play with this more than you. I hear her shuffle away and my expensive cane cracking into metal displays and such as they leave. I start crying and bring my arms in front of me to grab onto something, anything, and end up crashing and falling into a center aisle display making a loud scene. Without fail, I somewhat curl into a ball and cry. I'm alone in public in the dark and I had no idea what to do. Suddenly, I feel a hand on my shoulder and a man's voice will call me AG for awesome guy. Oh, really? Am I AG? 
right. Ask if I'm okay and to stay right here. I do, but begin to at least sit up and listen. This man must have been tall and built like a tank because his footstep sounded like a giant and I felt a suction of wind when he took off. About 30 or 40 feet away, I hear this loud blowing like an angry lion and a loud crash. Then before I know it, the man is back and helping me to my feet. He takes my hand and puts my cane into my palm and helps me pick up the items I drop when I fill into the display. My wiping tears from my cheek. Thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't know how to handle that. AG, don't worry about it. Some people are just monsters. This guy restored my faith in humanity and even helped me finish shopping and help me out of the store. As we were leaving, I can hear the familiar screeching of EM. Something about AG grabbing the crane and pulling hard, flinging her little devil child into a shopping cart. I don't know if she was exaggerating or not, but it would explain the crash I heard. Easy to feel alone in a world without sight. But even through the sheer terror of being stripped of my cane, at least I know now that there are people willing to stand up for me when I need it. Because of the sheer overwhelming amount of people asking, if you're blind, how are you typing? I will first answer with my fingers. And secondly, I'm using a screen reader called Narrator that reads the screen. Wherever my cursor or finger is over the screen, it reads. When I type a letter, it reads. Guys, just like Goalies or something. I can't believe someone would do that. I'm very glad that man helped you. The bystander effect can be really awful sometimes, but as you said, I'm glad that there are good people left in the world. But I think that lady should have shown some manners and she shouldn't be sued for that. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe my channel, and Stay safe and happy. Goodbye.